and welcome back to Detroit Become Human. I'm Duo, and today I think we get to learn a little bit more about our mysterious third protagonist, our paint-grabbing errand boy. Ooh, that's a nice house. His name's Marcus. That's our boy Marcus! What's up? This is a very nice house. Let's deposit our package. Oh, that's the camera. Looking at the mirror. Very flat expression, but I mean, I'm an android. It's what I do. Took my coat off. Take care of Carl. Hmm, who's Carl? Carl! That looks abstract. Is he a rich person with art or is he an artist? Oh my goodness. It's like a genuine skeleton. He's got a taxidermy giraffe over there in the corner. This guy sounds awesome. Yeah, I'm assuming this is it. Okay, Marcus, what'd it be? Oh, gotta draw some curtains. That's oh. Carl. Good morning, Carl. Good morning. It's 10 a.m. The weather is partly cloudy, 54 degrees, 80% humidity with a strong possibility of afternoon showers. It sounds like a good day to spend in bed. My man. I did go to pick up the paint that you ordered. Oh, yes, I've forgotten. That is the difference between you and me, right, Marcus? You never forget anything. Oh. Yeah, he's definitely an artist. And uh, what's up with this cat? Can we just take a moment to talk about this cat? Ugh. I've seen better taxidermy jobs. Let's take this. Show me your arm, please, Carl. No. <laughs> Carl. Come on, Carl. Thank you. Hmm. I just opened my eyes and I'm already gritting my teeth. Oh, you you're gritting your teeth? I mean I can I can wait, you know, draw this out a little bit. Oh Ooh, surprise. Such a fragile machine. They break down so quickly. All this effort to keep them going. That's true. Okay. I'll take you to the bathroom now. Oh. Let's see. Oh. Gotta play a little twister with my hands here. Whatever you do, don't drop him. Oh, it just stops in mid motion. Pity. So that is Carl, and he is played by Lance Henriksen, who uh, was uh, the android bishop in uh, the Aliens movies. Fitting touch of irony that he is now playing a human in a game that's uh, primarily about androids. Uh, but I love his voice. Oh, it is so good. And he's a stellar actor, so I'm definitely looking forward to seeing Anything special on the agenda today? Yes, there's the opening of your retrospective at the Museum of Modern Art. Mm. The gallery director left four messages asking to confirm your attendance. Mm. I haven't decided yet. We'll see about that later. Okay. What else? Just your usual fan mail. I've already answered. 
Oh, that is so mm. cool. Wheelchair lift. I mean, we have things that are similar to this. But, uh... No, Carl. Not quite like that. I can call him if you like. No. No, don't bother. Ooh, there's a bird cage. I should check that out. Starboard. Well, your breakfast is ready. Bacon and eggs, just the way you like them. Thank you, Mars. Mm. You're welcome. Sweet old bacon and egos. Delicious. Let's see. Yep, everything's just right there. Oh. <laughs> there we go. Put on a tray. Oh, little chalkboard mug with a smiley face. That's adorable. Mmm, and some figs. Mmm, figs for breakfast. 11 out of 10, would recommend. You ready? Are you ready? Here you go. Thank you, Marcus. Television. Get his coffee. Several Russian warships have taken position in the Barren Sea in Paris. So considering he just got home and went up there to wake him up, when did he make breakfast? Why don't you find something to do while I finish my breakfast? It could have been at least an hour ago. Mm -hmm. Okay, Carl. I wonder if the tray was keeping it warm or something. Can't go back into the kitchen. What do you got here? Nope. Everything to do is going to be in here. I can read a book. Look at the world. Let me do this. Something satisfying about spinning a globe. Television off. Mankind is so depressing. Nothing but greed, stupidity, and violence. 5,000 years of civilization just to get to where we are. Ah, uh, ain't that the truth? I'm just sometimes looking at the news in general as a very depressing exercise. Could read a book. Quantic Deluxe, since the, the the studio that made this is Quantic Dream. I'm going to play piano. Yeah. I'm a robot who plays piano. Or an android, sorry. Keep on saying robot. Ugh. Let's raise our hands. And... There we go. This is the theme from the intro. What a lovely theme. Imagine having an interface like that. Or like a real piano. Well, this kind of looks like a MIDI interface. How long this can go on for?
Don't get me wrong, I could listen to this all day. His hands are definitely not moving to the beat of this. Find a good stopping point here. That's lovely. Something has changed in the way you play. Sometimes I think you have more humanity than most humans. One day I won't be here to take care of you anymore. <sighs> You'll have to protect yourself no. and make your choices. My buddy's Carl. Decide who you are. You can't leave us. And want to become. Oh man, his eyes are gorgeous. This world like those who are different. Marcus, beautiful Don't let man. Don't tell you who you should be. Let's go to the studio. Don't let anyone tell you who you should be. Ah, uh, his Carl's voice is very distinct. Uh, it's so good. So man, imagine the future. You know. If you're fairly well off, you know, even into an older age, you could have an android take care of you like this. You know, help you with mobility, bathroom stuff, you know, help you retain some degree of normalcy in your life without feeling like you are um, weighing down on a, another human being. You know, you can just unabashedly be yourself. So what am I doing? Let me figure that out first. Okay, Carl, we're in the studio. Oh, just didn't move him to the right part of this chair left by the looks of it. Yep, there's his easel. Oh, and it just picks him up right out of the wheelchair. Let's see where we or left off. Picks up the chair part of the wheelchair. Remove the sheet. That is cool. Alrighty, release the Kraken! That's big. That's cool. So what am I doing? I'm cleaning. Ooh, these are some exciting times, but I do get a very special look at Carl here. The master artist himself in action. I'd better do my job. It is what I was built for. Oh, I guess not. Hmm. Sorry, Carl. Workshop's a mess. And it's my fault. So, what's your verdict, Marcus? Huh. I'm, a, I'm an android. Do I have a verdict? Yes, there is something about it. Hmm. Something I can't quite define. It appears to be looking at it very analog. I guess I like it. The truth is, I have nothing left to say anymore. Each day that goes by brings me closer to the end. I'm just an old man clinging to his brushes. Carl. Just said I liked it, man. But enough about me. Let's see if you have any talent. Yeah, so downloading Mona try. Lisa. Try painting something. Paint? What would I... Painting what? Print Anything the Mona Lisa. Want. Come on, man. Give it a try. <sighs> I know that they, the androids do, are behaving you know, according to a software algorithm or something, but... I wonder if they learn, you know, if there's like a learning program or something that helps them adapt in situations like this. You know, can an android define art, you know, in the same way a human can? Can an android create art in the same way a human can? Can they do it better? These are all interesting questions. And I'm gonna paint a painting 
Can I paint his painting? He's been working on it for months, no doubt. And I think I am just photocopying it in 15 seconds here. That is a perfect copy of reality. The painting is not about replicating the world. It's about interpreting, improving on it. It can be about replicating the world. You see. I saw a painting. Carl, I don't. I made a think painting. I can do that. It's not in my program. I... Go on, go try it. Grab that canvas. Does not compute. Self-destructing. <laughs> now that's art. Do something for me. Close your eyes. Close Ready? your eyes. Close your eyes. Do it. Trust me. Press A to close eyes. Try to imagine something that doesn't exist, something you've never seen. Now concentrate on how it makes you feel and let your hand drift across the canvas. Hmm. So what should I paint? Oh, hmm. humanity, androids, or identity. I think a very key part of this, of his, of his story is going to be about identity. You know, is he an android who's taking the steps on his way to becoming a human? You know, living under the tutelage of a master artist? Now my identity as... Well, as an android. Ah, oh, this music. It's hopeful, it's inspirational. Oh, that is lovely. He's just going to town. Not with this printer like extra. Oh, hello. Oh, there we go. That's a little more abstract. We're making history. Who the fuck is this? Hey, Dad. Hi, Leo. Leo. I didn't hear you come in. Oh, I was in the neighborhood. I thought I'd stop by. You look sketchy as fuck. It's been a while, right? You all right? You don't look so good. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> hey, listen, uh, I need some cash. Dad. Oh, God, is he a druggie, okay. too? What happened to the money I just gave you? Uh, well, it just goes, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're on it again, aren't you? No. Oh, God, no, he is no, a druggie. It's not that. No, don't uh, worry, what difference does it make? I just need some cash, that's all. Then Sorry. earn some. The answer is no. What? Not why? Like, you know why. Yeah, yeah, I think I do know why. Like the son of a <laughs> genius. <laughs> you'd rather you'd rather take care of your uh, plastic toy. Hardest here millionaire. Right? Shouldn't be able to make Tell a me, Dad, few dollars what's here. What's he got there. that I don't? Smarter, more obedient. Yep. Not like me, right? Yep. But you know and what? Gorgeous. This thing is not your son. Yes, I am. Machine. I'm Leo, his robot enough. son. Enough. Hands off the merchandise, you don't care about punk. Yourself and your goddamn paintings. You've never loved anyone. You never loved me, Dad. You won't give me money for drugs. So you hate me. me. Classic agreement. I mean, unless that's why he turned to drugs in the first place. I mean, we don't really see a Mrs. Carl in this situation. Maybe something happened when they were younger. Hmm. Interesting developments, though. So, we have been introduced to Marcus. And uh, he is the uh, android caretaker of the painter, Carl. He seems to be a fairly interesting fellow. I mean... You know, Kara and Connor both very much seem to be playing by their programming, but uh, it feels like Carl wants Marcus to be something more, you know, to expand his horizons, to feel, to create things that don't, you know, 
exist within the niches of his programming. So it's going to be very interesting to see how Marcus develops as opposed to the other two. Um, is he going to become, you know, something uh, analogous to a human, you know, as far as androids go? Is he going to become people? Is Leo going to get his money? Is Carl ever going to finish his mural? Find out next time on Trip Become Human. Thank you guys so much for watching. I uh, appreciate each and every one of you. Can't wait to see you guys in the next video. Uh, hopefully we'll see some rising action now that we've been formally introduced to uh, two and a half of our protagonists. Um, but either way, I'm looking forward to it. And I'll, I'll see you there. Bye-bye.